Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Jamie Photography. So today in this video, I'm going to go back a little bit, something a little bit more simple. Um, maybe start at the beginning to try to help a few people here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is going to show you how I import my images into Lightroom. Um, rather than going through all the different options, all the different functions, I'm just going to show you how I do it and how I organize my, my pictures. Um, and hopefully you'll find that, uh, you'll find that helpful and interesting. So, uh, so let's begin. So I'm in Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom CC, and, uh, I'm going to go, uh, I've plugged my SD card in from my camera into the uh, computer and I'm going to go down to import and I'll click on import okay so relatively straightforward just go straight to import once your, once your SD card is plugged in or your camera is plugged into your computer and then options will appear over here uh, as to um, what what's plugged in so Macintosh HD is my main hard drive uh, Lacey is my um, backup drive and you can see here camera SD has appeared it appears in the devices section and it appears here so camera SD and inside the camera SD card there are normally um, folders which the camera makes on the SD card and, and in this case my Sony a7r4 produces a DCIM folder and then a subfolder which it gives a standard number two now if I click on that subfolder the photographs that uh, that I've taken uh, will go in here. Now, I set my camera um, to record the numbers uh, sequentially based on uh, the, the, the actual uh, text that I've put into it. So in this case, I put A7R4 as the camera and then uh, I, I use 001 for one set of batches and then it will number therefore the number of pictures that you take after that you can set it to do a number of different ways but i'm not going to go into that today on how your camera records it but what you will be able to do is once you click on this folder is open up the pictures that are on uh, that are on the card so the first step I, I normally do is what i want to do is i want to select which photographs i'm going to going to import so the first thing I could do is just they normally come up all checked you could always click check tool at the bottom here and that will check all of them or you could uncheck them and you could go through manually and add in the ones that you want now um, that's a quick and easy way to do that but what I tend to do is I want to go through all the pictures and try to see whether I do want to import them or not so I do it very quickly now some people take hundreds of pictures and maybe they don't want to take the time to uh, to go through and sort the good the good and the bad before they import them I do because I don't want to fill my hard drive up with with um, pictures that I'm not I'm never actually going to use or work with so what I do is uh, I click on the first image I go down here to the um, full screen button at the bottom here and I click on full screen okay so this is a picture these are some pictures I took in Hamburg in, in Germany uh, this is the water restaurant in, in the old uh, industrial area and uh, I, I'm going to do a video later on on how to process this image um, so that's just a raw image straight from the camera now what I can do is I can at the bottom you'll note that there is a include in import tick box so I could tick that and that would uh, effectively add it to the list of the items I want to to import nice and simple I can tick it to un, 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 unselect it as well or nice easy way that I use is you can use P on your keyboard for pick so I click P and uh, it will it will highlight it okay so then I use the cursor key so I go one to the right to the next picture I can say pick yes I want that one one to the right it's too dark I don't want that one so I'm just going to ignore it if I did press P and I wanted to undo the P, then I have to use X. OK, so if I've selected it there, as you can see, I'll now click X to deselect it. So I'm going to use the right the right key again for the cursors. Go to the next one. I'm going to select that one P. Now, this this picture here is slightly out of focus, so I don't want that one. Um, 
looking at that one so I'll move to the next one so that one's a little bit better that one's a bit dark so I'm not going to have that one but I'm going to go to that one so I'm using left and right keys there you can see cursor keys to move back and forward to see which is the better one so I'm going to pick that one um, that's quite a dark one but I could use it as part of my HDR so I'm going to pick that one as well um, and I'm going to pick that one what you can always do as well is if you're not sure if the image is good enough you can always go down to the bottom here and you'll find a zoom so you can effectively zoom in allow the, allow the uh, computer to read the file and you can see whether uh, going a bit far there whether it's uh, a, a good enough image to use or not so you, you can always use the zoom there that's always always helpful so now I've been through those I can go back to the slideshow and you can see which ones I've picked and which ones I've not picked okay nice and easy as an easy way to do it so um, so there are so many options you can use in Lightroom when you're importing uh, but I, I literally just follow this workflow as I go through over on uh, at the top let's go straight to the top I want to copy these images because they're raw images um, I'd actually set the, the camera to, to store them as DNG but I want to copy them as DNG OK, um, you can select just copy and it will copy it will copy them over, copy the pictures to the new location, add uh, to the catalog. But I want to copy as DNG. Um, you can you can so sometimes select move or add as well if you want to. Uh, but I move them off the SD card because I, I'm going to clean the SD card after I've uh, finished with it um, and I want them to be in my my Lightroom. So I've clicked copy as DNG, happy with that. And then you go over here and now normally these are all closed. So you would you would come in here and it would look like this. OK, so um, I tend to open them up as I use them. So file handling, um, the build previews means that you'll get a um, an image that you can see when you're browsing through Lightroom, which makes it quicker and easier to go through. I select build smart previews. Uh, so you can actually use the previews to do editing without actually having the main file if you want to. Um, but also having the smart previews up. Um, for me, for, I find that Lightroom runs uh, much better in terms of the image uh, and the image quality as we go through. The next one here is don't import suspected duplicates. Well, I always have that ticked because if I put this SD card in again, um, when I've added more pictures to it, if I haven't deleted those, when I put it in again, it will ignore the pictures I've already uh, downloaded. So that's a that's a good one to use. You have an option to make a second copy. I don't do that. Uh, and also you can add it to a collection if you use collections. I also don't don't use that. Um, the file renaming process. I don't rename the files. I stick with whatever comes out of the camera. So I, I don't use that. Um, and you can apply some additional functions if you want to during uh, the import but again I don't use that function what I do do is now we're down in destination is I I now pick where in the catalog I'm going to store them and generally I, I run things by by date uh, the folder by date um, or I have a group folder uh, in this case you can see Jamie photography here and these are the images uh, and uh, that I've been working on over the last few weeks uh, in here so inside this folder so I've highlighted Jamie photography um, I want to create uh, a new folder for these Hamburg pictures so I can either uh, right click on here and create a new folder nice and simple um, so I could do that and I'll click that and show you so I could I could uh, create a new folder there it will take me to the folder structure and then I can click new folder and add a new folder here again I don't I don't tend to do that I'm going to cancel that what I tend to do is select the folder that I've I have here Jamie photography I then use this tick box here into subfolder and then in this box next to it I can write what that subfolder is so in this case I'm going to say uh, it's uh, Hamburg um, visit right so it's in my Jamie photography so I tend to put the date in when when I'm putting these in so I'm going to go with uh, um, the 18th of August uh, 2022 so I've typed that into that box and you'll note that a, 
italic grey um, folder has appeared inside JME Photography. I haven't done anything yet. It's not recorded anything yet. All it's done is taken the text, because I said, into the subfolder and it's put it there. So it's ready with that folder to take the images I've selected and to place them in there. Now, before I click import, what I want to show you is you can click on organize. Uh, there are a number of options by original folders. So it will copy the original folder basis that you had over um, or by date. Now, I used to do by date and I found that um, I ended up with so many separate folders and so many separate destinations for all, all of the pictures because all taken on different days and at different times. And I found that to be very difficult to manage. So I tend to do into one folder. And then I tend to uh, add additional folders as we go. So as you'll also note that um, it comes from the, the, the Mac hard drive. It's under users. It's under my name, which is standard for a Mac. Uh, I think Windows is very similar. And then you, you I've added in the pictures folder, I've started adding these, these folders. So what that means is in my pictures folder within my main uh, directory, I'll also have access to these images directly um, as well as uh, through Lightroom. So I've so I've added this tick into subfolder Hamble visit. There it is. It's appeared as an italic gray. Um, it's ready. I'm ready to import those images. So I have what, what I want here. I'm comfortable that it's going to the right place. I click import and it will start to copy and import those pictures off the SD card. It will make that new subfolder and uh, it will place those pictures into that subfolder okay so once they're in to the folder which they are now um what i tend to do is I, I want to see if there's any of these images that for me are a good starting point uh, or not and to do that i effectively go to develop um, i make sure i'm on the first one which i are number one and i use the star system that uh, that you can use and you can find it here. But the easiest way to access the star system is once you've got an image open is to just press the number on your keyboard. So in this case, I'm going to give that a one because it's it's a starting point. I'll move using the cursor keys to the right to the next image. I'm also going to give that a one as well. I'm going to move to the right again. That's the dark image that will go with the one before. So that's still a one. Um, so we're over to the uh, to the museum pictures in Humboldt. Uh, so I'm looking at that thinking, well, I might give that a two as a good starting point. The dark one, I'll probably give a one and the medium, I'll give a one. And they're the six images that I've got. So they are now starred one, 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 two, one, one. And now you can use your selections over here by clicking on these to, to, to find the ones that you do or don't want. If for example, you don't want that to be a, a one star. Whilst you're on the image, you press zero and it will be counted as a zero. So you'll see that there is no star showing. So if I now click on the stars here and click for one star, it will show me all the one stars and above because this little this little indicator here says rating is greater than or equal to. You could have it just as equal to. And then it will only show me the number ones. Yeah. If you want to turn off your star rating, just show you there before I do that the two star there's only one two star image there if you want to go back to one you can click on one so it only shows the ones so now if I want to get rid of that and go back to all I can go over to this pull down menu here and put filters off and all the images come back so I hope you found that uh, to be helpful um, that's how I import my pictures nice and straightforward because they're in the picture fo folder I can make a backup of that picture folder onto my separate hard drive without too much trouble. Um, and I always make sure I back up the catalog as well within Lightroom um, so that you've always got a copy of that. So um, if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments. If there's any videos you'd like to see me do to talk about any aspects of Lightroom or Photoshop, more than happy to uh, to take your comments and uh, and consider them as a video for the future. So for now, I'll leave you with that and I'll see you in the next video.